Shall we? Shouldn't we wait for our guest? Our guest would not expect it. Besides, there are matters to be discussed that only concern the three of us. First, is your not being told that Alexis is your aunt, my sister. Well, what's there to discuss? I mean, the decision was already made not to inform me. Well, if it had been up to Alexis, you would have learned the truth sooner. It was my decision to withhold her identity. But why? As I told you, I was furious with her for interfering in my relationship with Catherine. And I felt the more distance between Alexis and us, the better. My behavior toward your uncle was horrible, and his actions were justified. But since then, we have put the past behind us. I'm hoping you'll be able to do the same. <sighs> well, I loved you when you were my cousin. And I can only assume I will love you as my aunt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excellent. Now, the next subject at hand is Laura. There is no longer any reason to avoid contact with her. Oh, so Laura is the mystery guest tonight, huh? You'll find out soon enough. It's speaking of Laura, Luke's left town. For good? Who knows? <sighs> On that, to aunt, to uncle, the only Cassidyne family that matters. To us. You're here. Mr. Cassidyne. Ah, that must be our guest now. Show her in. I demand to know why you've invited me. For the pleasure of your company, Mother. What other reason could there be? To rub your acquittal in my face? The only reason I accepted your invitation was the chance to see Nicholas. Oh. Your devotion to family is a model for us all. Mm. I have no intention of suffering through an afternoon of what passes for your wit. If you have nothing more constructive to say, I'll be leaving at once. Don't move. I have specific information to impart. Concerning? Parameters for your behavior. I, I can write them down, if you'd like, unless you think you can remember them. i better write them down. She is getting on. Yes. First, any future harassment of Alexis is strictly forbidden. She is my sister and will be treated with respect. Or? I will drop a building on you. A large brick building. Mm. Any harassment of Nicholas is likewise forbidden. I have never, nor would I ever do such a thing. Anything to add? Alexis. Thank you. No more disrobing like a common streetwalker and allowing portraits to be painted of your nude body. It embarrasses the family. Yes. Oh, and <clears throat> uh, stay away from my mother. Uh, stay away from my sister, and uh, because I'm feeling particularly magnanimous today, stay away from Lucky, too, huh? And finally, from this moment on, you are never to set foot on this island again. Sorry to interrupt. Mrs. Lansbury said I could come in. Ah, oh, Detective Garcia. Well, it appears our instructions may be irrelevant. Please, Detective, don't let us keep you from your work. Helena Cassadine? You're under arrest. Oh. <laughs> I am under arrest? For what? Second degree murder and the death of Catherine Bell. Conspiracy to commit murder. Withholding evidence pertinent to an ongoing investigation. Did, uh, did I leave anything out? Yes. There was a diamond known as the Ice Princess. The largest uncut diamond in the world been missing for years. I happen to know it was last seen in the possession of my mother. Perhaps you can add grand theft to your list of charges. I'll keep it in mind. We have your statement ready. I just need you to come down to the station with us so you can read it and sign it before we can process your mother. By all means. 
Are you ready? This is absurd. Please stand and hold your hands out in front of you. I will not. I prefer not to use force. I will exact my revenge. Oh, and it will be fierce. You're going to need strength for that, Mother. It's too bad you didn't partake of the meal we offered. I can personally attest prison rations are somewhat lacking. <laughs> Helena Cassadine, you have the right to remain silent. If you choose to give up that right, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You have the right to have that attorney present.